Hello sir, myself Varun Pratap Singh and I am student of BSc 4 semester M1 batch. I hope you and your family is happy and healthy in this period of lockdown. My topic of presentation is Bohr's atomic model and also known as Bohr's hydrogen atomic model as you consider hydrogen in general. Before knowing the Bohr's model, we should know the need of that model. The previous model given by Rutherford was very good but the main objection or the drawback was that he was unable to explain the stability of atom. As he considered that uh, in an atom, the nucleus, is at cent the nucleus is at that center and the electron revolves around, uh, around the nucleus in a circular path and as we know that an, if a an charged particle while revolving in a circular path radiates energy and this uh, circular path will change into a spiral path and, in a, and very quickly the electron will collapse into the nucleus and, this, uh, and by this there will be no atom and if there will be no atom there will be no matter and this was very contradicting to the fact of stability, stability of an atom hence there was a need of a model which uh, which uh, uh, explains this uh, stability of an atom very easy. Bo Niels Bohr gave a quantum model of atom by which he explained uh, stability of atom very easy. So uh, there were mainly three postulates which he explained. The first postulate was that an electron stays or revolves in a uh, discrete orbital known as stationary orbit or uh, uh, stable orbit which, which revolves around the nucleus. He also suggested that an electron uh, and the uh, nucleus, there is a force of attraction, of centripetal force of attraction, which is given by the electrostatic force of attraction. The second postulate was that an electron will uh, revolve or st stay in that orbital only in which the total angular momentum of that electron is equal to the integral multiple of the reduced Planck constant. Or we can say that the Planck total number of uh, total angular momentum of electron is equal to the nh by 2 pi, where n is the quantum principal quantum number and h is the the third postulate was that no radiation is uh, emitted when while electron is staying inside the uh, discrete orbital or stable orbital. But it will uh, radiate in energy and frequency when energy from outside is given to it. From even energy level it go to the higher uh, energy level and while returning uh, back from e higher energy level to the even it will uh, radiate some frequency it can be of UV, infrared or visible. And these frequency are uh, compiled in a series known as uh, hydrogen spectrum and there are many series like Bama series, uh, Lyman series and many others. Uh, he gave this by an equation as nu uh, is equal to E1 minus E2 where S is the Planck constant, nu is the frequency and E1 and E2 are the initial and the final energy level of the electron. We can explain the third postulate by taking an example. Now uh, electron is equivalent to a student of second class whose name is Varun. Uh, Varun is getting B grade in, in every exam but uh, his uh, cousin came and he motivated him to study hard. Uh, Varun studied hard and get uh, A grade in an exam and uh, after that motivation has gone and he came back to the B grade. But while uh, he got uh, A grade in marks, he told their parents to uh, buy some uh, colourful gifts for him. Similarly for an electron, uh, it was in at the initial level and when uh, some energy is given to it from outside, it jumps from E1 level to E2 level. It is stayed at the higher energy level for very small period and again come to the E1 energy level. While coming back to the E1 energy level, it radiates some frequency. It can be of UV radiation, infrared or visible like in Bauer. So uh, this, this was the main thing which was explained by Niels Bauer in the third postulate. He also explained the energy by how we can calculate the energy of the nth order. In total the Niels Bohr atomic model was that the uh, that the nucleus was at the center and there were some uh, discrete orbital or also known as energy level in there which can be named as K, L, M and so on. And numerically it, it, he said that uh, K is equal to N is equal to 1, small n is equal to 1 where N is the principal quantum number, L is equal to uh, N is equal to 2, generally 1, 2, 3, 4 and so on. So uh, this was all about the Niels Bohr atomic model. Thank you, sir.